Welcome, Leatherneck fans. I'm Kimberly Tortorisi, bringing you the latest on Leatherneck sports. This past Saturday, on September 7th, Western Illinois football team faced off against Quincy. The conditions were rough, with hot sun and even rain throughout the game, and both teams fought hard for a victory. The first quarter started off slow. However, with five minutes left, J.C. Baker scored the first touchdown of the game. The extra point was missed, but Western began to build their margin as Nico Watson made it to the end zone just a few minutes later before the end of the first quarter. Quincy did their best to fight back against the fighting Leathernecks, but their efforts were unsuccessful, and Western's high C Scott scored with eight minutes left in the second quarter. Nearly four minutes later, Gene Mark Charles on Western's defensive line caught an interception. Unfortunately, the Knicks could not get the ball in the end zone for a third time before the half. However, Western created a large margin, leaving the score 20 to 0 Leathernecks. In the second half, Quincy came out fighting, but again, Western held their efforts and the Leathernecks, Kyle Rubisky, got the ball in the end zone with nearly 7 minutes left in the third. As Quincy raced against the clock to get on the board, Western's J.C. Baker managed to score another touchdown in the fourth, making their margin of victory 34-0. However, with only minutes left, Quincy managed to get the ball in the end zone, right on the buzzer. The final score was 34-6, Leathernecks. After the game, the coach commented on the offense's performance. Quote, we were a better football team offensively. We came in wanting to distribute the football better, and we did, end quote. Saturday, September 14th, the Leathernecks hit the road to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tune in next time, Leatherneck fans. I'm Kimberly Tortorisi, signing out from Macomb, Illinois.